Donald Trump, Joe Biden, two of the most loved candidates in history go head to head in a very respectful election. Yes, it is election day USA today, but why be preoccupied just with today's election when there's so many other great elections in the past that we can look at as well? I did not have sexual relations. In celebration of democracy, we're going to play a bunch of fantastic political video games, which are really get that uh, willingness to vote, you know, pumping through your veins. So, without any further ado... The political machine, let's fucking do this. I'm gonna be a Republican, I think, because I'm a big fan of the color red, and I'm gonna set it on masochistic difficulty. So this will basically be as difficult as trying to win as George Bush for a second term, which is... Oh wait, he actually won that, didn't he? My ideology? Fascism. All right, let's uh, let's let's make our dude. Okay, so I'm noticing this dude looks a little bit like Paul Rudd, so I think I'll just name him Paul Rudd. I think I'll embrace it. That looks good. I got my stats done. Let's move on, shall we? Almost forgot a bracket down there. Okay, so I made a few little changes to him. I'm not sure if he exactly looks like Paul Rudd anymore, but I think the spirit of Paul Rudd is still there. Oh my God, you can fucking you can move the e Paul Rudd. In the flesh. Let's do this. Okay, the race begins. I am up against the, the formidable opponent, I Carly. Now, right away, I'm gonna flip California. That's that's the that's the patented Paul strategy. Okay. It would appear I've been invited onto the Ben Sharp Sharp show. I will take this opportunity to go on about how slavery happened 150 years ago. And who even cares anymore? Who even cares? I got some ideology points, but he doesn't need ideology points or even ideology to win this election. It would appear that uh, my opponent has thrown her full support behind the killing of the fish. Now, if you've seen Finding Nemo, you'll know that this is bound to backfire for her. God damn it, now she's getting rid of sugar and everyone in the US loves it because they all have diabetes. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, now she's throwing her full support behind mayonnaise and getting rid of video games? Well, there is something a sensible person would do, finally, Carly. Let's be honest, when you got Sam by your side throughout all your speeches and Freddy filming it from all those wacky angles, people are bound to like whatever you say. Especially with random dancing right after. Michelle Obama, random dancing on children's TV. Okay, guys, I'm on the Harry Potter show. This is a make it or break it moment for the Rudd campaign, okay? Either I will grow into the next president or I will shrink down into the next Ant-Man but like in a bad way though. Excuse me, I'm the expert, I'm Paul Rudd. Shut the fuck up, Steve Colbert, I don't care. Now the map may look a little blue, but I assure you it's all part of the Rudd plan. Just watch, watch as I pull it back. If I can't win through traditional votes, I'm gonna buy my way to the White House, okay? Oh, I don't actually have enough stamina to get very much money at all. Hold on, hold on, I just realized something. I don't think I can win this election, guys. Give me money. If there's one thing Paul Rudd can do, it's become the richest man in all of California. Give me funds. Give me funds. Give me money. Give me money. Give me funds. I must cash out. Well, I have three million dollars in the bank now. Let's see if the American people uh, can appreciate some wealth around here. Uh, mm-hmm. 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 Now, this is all part of the strategy. Just, you watch. It's called the Rocky Mountains Pocket, and there it is. The pocket. Ooh. Everything's going perfectly. Beautiful. That's six whole states, isn't it? Did I win? Somehow, my Rocky Mountain strategy failed me because I failed to count how many votes exist per state and I also failed to account for the fact that there are 44 other states Paul Rudd may have failed me so I'm gonna come in hot with Drake and Josh the perfect counter to iCarly except I'm not even gonna go against iCarly she's proven herself to be a formidable opponent or right, I'm gonna flip California but this time I'm not gonna put too much money into California because they're a bunch of fucking traitors who flip-flop at the very end of the election. Okay, guys, uh, I know the cheat codes to the United States. It's called, um, saying that you like the army. 
Let's just see if that works. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I think that that worked, but just in case it didn't, uh, the fix is in. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. That's looking about right. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ah, uh, Democracy Three, or as I like to call it, Democracy Cubed. I think that I'm going to pick Canada to start because that's just kind of where the most interesting stuff happens. I'm gonna call myself the Trudeau Cosplay Party, cause that's really what I'm all about. All right, starting out, I can see we got a bit of a crime and health issue going on, so I'm gonna just sort that straight out. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is legalize all drugs, because I think that'll really help take people's mind off their horrible health situation. And honestly, I watch Joe Rogan, so I'm aware that weed is the best thing for your health. Alright, here's the secret to playing this game. I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? Just do stuff that's popular, okay? Is it popular? Do it. And then your approval rating will hit like 100%. Alright, crime is still a little bit of an issue, so, um... I'm just gonna fund the police. Let's create a police state, shall we? People love police states. Let's also up community policing. Speaking of, uh, great things, how about private prisons? Let's just... Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, crime is still going up. That's... That's concerning. That ain't great. Why? Oh, just because everyone's addicted to drugs means they're doing crimes? That's not even accurate. What the fu- I'll just put down some CCTV cameras so maybe we can see who's high and give them a stern talking to. But drugs are still legal though, don't worry. I'm gonna ban smoking though, because I think that's a problem. Alright, uh, crime is still going up. Um, that- Maybe if we- I legalize gam gambling, they'll have something to distract them, you know? Gotta keep that approval rating up. It's high oh, look at that, it's climbing. All right, so the GDP and productivity levels did take a bit of a hit due to everyone being addicted to drugs. I, I think I'm ironing out the kinks right now. What the fuck? Why, why aren't the capitalists- I made it so you can sell heroin legally, and yet you don't appreciate what I've done for you. Fuck off. Oh, they're a bunch of fucking capitalist money-making bitches. They don't have anything on me anyways. And my approval rating has hit 72%, so that's- who said you can't legalize drugs and get away with it? Oh, apparently a bunch of nuns said that. <laughs> as, if, as if I'm scared of some nuns. Come on. Come on. Get real. Piece of shit nuns. You know what? Creationism only. From now on in our schools. Is that, is that gonna make you happy? Apparently, apparently it did make them happy. I'm, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, um, Stalin numbers of approval. Uh, who am I kidding? He was, he was at a square hundred percent. Holy shit. I am king of democracy. I am king in a world of chaos, and no one can ever touch me or bring me down. Mother... fucking... capitalist. I think we should save the best for last, right? We're gonna head to the greatest video game hotspot anywhere in existence. That's right, boys. We're heading back to Miniclip, but this time we're going to political mini clip. Look at this selection. I think we're gonna start with, uh, pounding. Stop! Canadian car companies are lying to you. I'm Matt Smith from Alberta and I have a credit score of 425. That's so cool, Matt Smith. Thank you. I am on mini clip, not com.game, right? Right? Based on what I know about the 08 election, I think Obama's the better bet here, right? I think that's a safe guess. Alright, you motherfucker. You think you can just fucking get captured? You think you can just get captured by enemies of the state and then come back, John McCain? Motherfucker. Motherfucker, get over here. You're about to feel the- you're about to feel the burn. That's burning, that's not- Take that! Yeah! This one, um... This is just... Is this a game? It said this is a game. I don't know if... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna never open this again. Okay, Dancing Bush, though, this one's way better, okay? The graphics in this one are great. Oh, yeah, the sound effects, too. Hmm, yes, um, milk must be served in bags, okay? I'm just gonna sign that. Donald... 
tr oh, okay, I guess I don't get to sign it then. But, 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 but what if we don't want to buy milk in bags? Shut the fuck up, you'll go home in a bag. Oh, oh, now I'm threatening people? Oh, now I'm, now I'm being too threatening for you reporters? I don't think I like the free press anymore. Oh, shit. No, watch out, the terrorists! The terrorists are here! No, look out, Bush! Look out, they haven't even let you invade Iraq yet! You show those terrorists who's boss! Show them who's boss, Bush! Yeah! Yeah! Level completed. Level code for level two is rice. Write that down, everyone. You got a pen and paper? It's rice. Write it down. Level two, rice. It would seem I'm not permitted to set my difficulty onto I'm bad yet. I need to be a little bit more bad. I need to kill a few more Afghans before I can get there. Wait, hold on a second. If the levels have codes, then... Hold on. I can hack the system. I can hack the secrets. Okay, well you can't say that I'm not a hacker anymore after that. Fucking terrorists, I'll kill your families after this. Oh wait, I already did. Watch out, Bush! Watch out, Mr. Bush! No! No! Mr. Bush! Mr. President! No! Me too, Bush. I think war is a dangerous place too. Oh, that was it. Great. Da hello, I am communist. I hate uh, freedom. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I'm not even a communist. I use... I was gonna do a thing where I pulled it off my head and, and showed the candy inside it, but it just fell off my head actually instead. Oh, that's so funny, is it, Beth? Are you laughing at me? That's just hilarious, Beth. Why don't you just laugh it up? In fact, actually, in the spirit of today, I have a mail-in ballot, not for the president, but actually for your occupation. Um, and I'm the only one that voted, actually, so take, feel free to take the ballot. Get out of my house, cunt. Next time you text, can't wait. You were talking to a presidential candidate.